I was I was so blindsided when Maxi played that recording. I I didn't even recognize my own voice at first, and then I I realized, oh, it's me. That my private thoughts were out there, and then to see the pain and the shock and the betrayal on my daughter's face, and and the realization of what I'd done, and the how that recording was going to completely ruin her career, and all of that hard work, and all of that, the negotiating, and the and the networking, and my all of that just up in flames. Did you really think about what she felt? Be quiet. Yeah, of course I did. Because I never wanted my discomfort over my daughter's personal choices ever to distract her or to hurt her. So I always kept those things to myself. And and she was never supposed to hear what you're like. I just went through something with my daughter, Christina. Um, she saw something she wasn't supposed to see. She saw a side of me. I never wanted her to see. And I was terrified that I was never gonna see her again. Ms. Reeves, ladies of deception. Sir, I must tell you how gratifying it was to see the invaders jump in web traffic today. Can I assume that that is what this little tete-a-tete -tete with our favorite advertisers is all about? Actually, it is, because now I know why the invader had a jump in traffic. Well, Adrian, I'm not pleased. Not at all. Well, in that case, I'm not sure this is the appropriate venue to air the invader's laundry. This is the perfect place, because your complete absence of judgment will affect deception's bottom line. And since they are our favorite advertising sponsors i think they deserve answers of course what might the questions be where did you get that recording of natalia ramirez from and why on earth would you run it without consulting me why would i you've always been a champion of my society journalism you ran an inflammatory column featuring clearly doctored footage it was not doctored it was edited that's what the doctoring is. It was only half the conversation. The other responses were taken out. Because only Ms. Ramirez's comments were relevant. Let's leave Ms. Ramirez out of this for the moment. What about her daughter? What about her daughter's girlfriend? You know what? I'm just going to say their names since you plastered them all over the internet. Allison Rogers Ramirez, a.k.a. Blaze. Christina Corinthos Davis. And I'm sure that you know Christina is Sonny Corinthos' daughter. I did. And Sonny is my ex-husband. Yes. Yeah, so did it ever occur to you that running a hit piece that was detrimental to one of Sonny's children would look like I'm using the paper to lash out at my ex-husband? I simply assumed that your reputation was above reproach. Please, Adrian. Even I know that my reputation is far from sterling. And I have noticed that you have not answered my first question. If you could kindly remind me. Where did you get that recording of Natalia Ramirez? You told me this instant. Or you're going to clear out that office that you haven't occupied for even 24 hours. Ava Jerome. Even if I had done what you're accusing me of, it's not illegal in New York State for one person to record another. No, it is not. Well, that was open and shut. Well, not really. Have you ever heard of a reasonable expectation of privacy? So Blaze is a, is a public person, so her reasonable expectation of privacy is limited. But Natalia is not a public figure. And so, not illegal. That's the fun part. Because the challenge I'll be bringing is how case law is made. I don't know if you understand this. Do you need a remedial law student to explain it to you? I'm sure I can figure it out. I think I better explain it. So the law is based on judicial rule or opinion. So the case I'll be arguing is intentional malice. You know how you intentionally tampered with recorded files? Negating all legal protection.